Okay, uh, I've gotten a lot of comments and questions from you guys about the extraction process and how to use Photoshop. So I'm making this quick video here. There are a lot better video trainings on Linda, but some of them are a little bit more extensive. So we're going to start right here. I'm just going to show you very quickly how to do an extraction from a background. First thing that you do, we have this lovely picture here. I've chosen it because it's very challenging, as you'll see in a moment. First thing you do is always, what again? Yes. Duplicate the layer. Duplicate the layer allows you to basically uh, work non-destructively on your image. So Control J basically will allow you, there we go, to duplicate the layer. We're working with that. All right, next, over here on the side, the tool, quick select, not the magic wand. You can use the magic wand to do some selections. We will talk about that if you'd like. We're going to use quick selection right now. Okay, so quick selection here, watch what happens. Just start painting in. Click and tap, and you start just dragging in over the areas, and you get your selection very, very quickly. All right, so obviously we can see that there are some areas selected that we don't want. We go up here, no, don't want that, don't want that, okay, do you want that? All right, fairly okay. So one down here. Now, main thing that we got to do here, pay attention to the fine edge. Okay. But for fine edge, what we're seeing now is hmm, the selection looks pretty bad. What you're able to do is you're able to use this little thing here to paint in the edges. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start going around the hair and telling the computer and Photoshop. No, the edge is actually over here a little bit, and we're going to paint in the detail. This is where the edge should be. Perfect. See, we start recovering some of the hair that has been lost and matted out. If you do this a little bit at a time, you have a little bit more success. Okay? It's not perfect, but it will allow you to get some things there that weren't otherwise. So we're just going to go around uh, the image here. All right, missing some detail on the shoulder there. Now, let us see what it takes. It looks like. Go back to review the layer. Hmm. There's all these strands over here. Let me paint those in a bit. And we're also going to take a look at these. See if these show up in the register. Well. Okay. Now, See what kind of effect we've had. Go back to uh, white. There we go. All right. Now, let's cross that panel. One of the things that you can do to help it out is you move the contrast slider a little bit. Hmm. Not so good. Makes things a little bit too contrast. You see, move it all the way over. Hair on the side starts looking pixelated. Let's just pop it up a little bit there. Okay, uh, it's not the greatest selection, not the greatest extraction. Uh, you can take a look at the radius there. That's what we have selected. And we're going to hit OK with this. All right, this is now our selection. What I suggest you do is then click on Mask. Okay, what does that do? Of the background layer, it shows that you are on a uh, transparent background. The layer mask, which is right over here to the photo, this little beautiful layer mask, it says we are masking out all the things. Okay, just remember this little line white reveals, black conceals. The white part of this is the part that you're actually seeing, the black part of this is the part that is being masked, masked away. Okay. All right, so now that we have this as a nice little layer mask, what that means is if we really wanted to go back at it and get really exacting, we can start refining the layer mask. Uh, there's a whole bunch of trainings on that. Uh, I definitely will put some stuff up there on what to take a look at 
on Linda. So the next thing that we want to do is to crop this. Go over here, take a look at the crop tool. Okay, crop tool. All right, we are going to move it on in. And move it on in more like that to get a little bit more of a square look like this. Click OK. All right, we've cropped it. All right, to save this, we're going to do a save for web, which is just a button mash, Alt Shift Control S. Those of you who are gamers know what that means. Just hit all the buttons and then hit S. We're saving for web. Take a look at it about 25%. Yeah, it looks okay. It's a ping 25. Make sure you've got transparency enabled here. Click save. And you shall join the little rogues gallery of extractions that I'm doing here for the class, which we're going to be using. I'm going to show you how to use these in a 3D environment and also how to use these against uh, a sliding 